Hoy te voy a enseñar 11 frases que tú puedes usar en vez de give me, dame o I need, necesito. Mira, ha sido un poco polémica uh, el sujeto acá y no tiene nada que ver con tú tienes que hablar como un gringo, tú tienes que hablar como hablamos en Gringolandia. No es eso. Pero sí tienes que saber que usando ciertas frases en inglés te va a que quedar un poco mal educado y la gente van a sentir un poco insultado, ¿no? Uh, y lo que yo quiero darte acá en este canal es la opción de tratar a todos con respeto para que te traten a ti con respeto. Eso. Así que ya, aprende bien estas 11 frases. ¿Qué van a tener en común las frases de hoy? Uh, vas a ver los modales en inglés. Uh, los modales en inglés hacen todo un poco más suave, un poco más indirecto, que nosotros gustamos. Así que en vez de decir, give me the newspaper, dame el periódico, puedes decir, can you hand me the newspaper? O cualquier uh, frase nominal ahí. Uh, puedes pasarme el periódico. ¿ya? Can you hand me the newspaper? Can you hand me the newspaper? Can you hand me that newspaper? Can you hand me that newspaper? Bill, can you hand me my phone? Bill, can you hand me my phone? En vez de give me $20, dame $20, obviamente acá estamos hablando con un conocido, uh, a lo mejor, ¿no? Uh, can I have? Can I have? Puedo tener. Puedo tener $20, por favor. A lo mejor añade ahí, por favor. Can I? Can I? Vinculando. Can I have twenty dollars, please? Can I have my shoe? Can I have my shoe? Can I have twenty dollars? Can I have twenty dollars? Hand me. Hand me. Ta 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 ta. La frase nominal. Hand me the newspaper. Acá viene el modal. Will you? Will you? Pásame esa cosa. Quieres? O pásame esta cosa, por favor. El will you nada más es como por favor. Piénsalo así, no tienes que analizarlo. Uh, hand me the newspaper, will you? Hand me that candle, will you? Hand me that candle, will you? Hand me my purse, will you, daddy? Hand me my purse, will you, daddy? Will you, acá vamos a tener varias opciones. Will you hand, pásame con tu mano, hand, el verbo ahí, pass, igual, pásame, ¿no? Will you hand, pass, or give me uh, la frase nominal. Will you hand me the pistol, please, Miss Mead? Will you hand me the pistol, please, Miss Mead? Hey, Ross, you pass me that knife? Hey, Ross, you pass me that knife? Will you give me five minutes? Will you give me five minutes? Will you hand me the newspaper? Will you pass me the newspaper? Will you give me the newspaper? Or uh, ese cuchillo. Will you pass me that knife? Will you hand me that knife? Will you hand me the pistol, please, Ms. Mead? Will you hand me the pistol, please, Ms. Mead? Hey, Ross, you pass me that knife? Hey, Ross, you pass me that knife? Will you give me five minutes? Will you give me five minutes? Do you think, do you think you could give me más la frase nominal? Do you think you could give me a minute? Do you think you could give me a minute? Do you think you could give me an honest answer? Do you think you could give me an honest answer? Do you think you could give me a minute? Do you think you could give me a minute? Uh, ¿Crees que me podría estar un, un minuto? Que acá quiere decir que a lo mejor quiero hablar contigo o que estoy diciéndote que necesito un minuto para terminar lo que estoy haciendo. Pero acá es una frase nominal ahí. Do you think you could give me a minute? Do you think you could give me a minute? Do you think you could give me a minute? Do you think you could give me an honest answer? Do you think you could give me an honest answer? Ahora un par un poco más formal. Do you mind? Do you mind acá? Te molesta. Aprendelo como un chunk. Do you mind? Te molesta. Do you mind giving me más la frase nominal? Do you mind giving me some advice? Do you mind giving me some advice? 
Do you mind giving me some advice? Uh, ¿Te importaría o te molestaría darme algún consejo? Do you mind? Do you mind giving me some advice? Do you mind giving me some advice? Do you mind giving me some advice? Do you mind giving me a ride home? Do you mind giving me a ride home? Would you mind? Igual a do you mind, pero quizás un poco más formal. Uh, would you mind? Would you mind giving me a lift? Would you mind giving me a lift? Would you mind giving me one good reason? Would you mind giving me one good reason? Would you mind giving me some advice? Uh, ¿Le importaría darme algún consejo ahí? O, would you mind giving me a minute? Uh, ¿Te importaría da darme un minuto? Es como decir, podrías, podrías darme un minuto, por favor. Would you mind giving me a minute? Would you mind giving me a minute? Would you mind giving me a minute? Would you mind giving me one good reason? Would you mind giving me one good reason? May I have? May I? May I have? May I have the box? May I have the box? May I have a spoon? May I have a spoon? Nota que el may es menos común y más formal con the can, can or could. Yeah, can I have? Could I have? Más común, pero también en una situación muy formal. Vas a escuchar, may I? May I have the spoon? Uh, puedo tener una cuchara. ¿Me podrías pasar una cuchara? Yeah? May I have the spoon? May I have the box? May I have the box? May I have a spoon? May I have a spoon? Could you give me? Could you? Could you? Vinculando ahí con j, j. Could you? Could you give me her number? Could you give me her number? Oh, could you give me a rag? Oh, could you give me a rag? Could you give me her number? Me podrías dar o podrías darme su número? Could you? Could you give me her number? En vez de give me, dame su, dame su número. Uh, o sea, estoy tratando de, de uh, decirlo más fuerte en español porque así suena nosotros en inglés. Dame su número. Suena así, como una orden, como, oh, ok, ok, te lo paso, ya, yeah, cálmate, ¿no? Could you, could you give me her number? Y solo añadiendo, could you, lo hace mucho más suave. Es como, hey, ¿me podrías pasar su número? Could you give me her number? Could you give me her number? Oh, could you give me a rag? Oh, could you give me a rag? I would really appreciate it if... Uh, realmente agra agradecería si sí, I would really appreciate it if you could más verbo en forma base I would really appreciate it if you could stop by I would really appreciate it if you could stop by I would appreciate it if you would apologize I would appreciate it if you would apologize I would really appreciate it if you could Apologize. Lo agradecería si pudiera disculparse. I would really appreciate it if you could. Verbo en forma base. I would really appreciate it if you could stop by. I would really appreciate it if you could stop by. I would appreciate it if you would apologize. I would appreciate it if you would apologize. I was wondering. If you could give me la cosa. I was wondering if you could give me a ride. I was wondering if you could give me a ride. I was wondering if you could give me some pointers. I was wondering if you could give me some pointers. I was wondering if you could give me a ride. Me preguntaba si podrías llevarme a X lugar, no? I was wondering if you could Give me a ride. Muy formal, pero sí lo vas a escuchar. I was wondering if you could give me a ride. I was wondering if you could give me a ride. I was wondering if you could give me some pointers. I was wondering if you could give me some pointers. 
Si tú quieres seguir aprendiendo conmigo y si quieres trabajar tu listening, tu pronunciación, tu fluidez y recibir feedback de un profe nativo, que vengas a mi curso de Fast Fluidez. Uh, también aquí por YouTube tenemos casi 400 videos llegando ahí para ayudarte a llevar tu inglés al, al próximo nivel. A uh, eso, mil gracias a todos que han venido a Patreon para apoyar este canal. Uh, nos ayuda un montón seguir haciendo contenido gratis aquí por YouTube. Así que mil gracias a cada uno de ustedes. Y eso es lo que tenemos. Espero que estés muy bien. Hasta entonces. Chao, chao.